Next news is out of uh, Tarakhand, India. Uh, cow, uh, cow is the only animal that exhales exhales oxygen, says Udakarhan's uh, chief minister, Tivendra Singh Rawat. So this guy, this chief minister in um, in this area of India, is saying that cows breathe out oxygen, um, and they're the only animal that can do that. But what's extra about what he's saying is that uh, it can cure tuberculosis if you live around them. Um, and if you have breathing problems, it'll be cured if you massage a cow. It will be... It it will help. It will cure your breathing problems if you massage. Shouldn't the cow be massaging right. you? Right. Remember, it's <laughs> chief minister. So, so chief minister of what? Of of this of this area. Oh. Um, State. Atara can. Okay. Holy fuck. Um, yeah. So so other people are actually defending him. Other officials are defending him, saying, "Well, it's a common belief in the hills here." So yeah. Wait, so so so, so they, how does that work? Do they do photosynthesis? Like they're like plants. Like, shouldn't the cows be green? If no, 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 they, they don't do photosynthesis. They're like, they breathe in oxygen and they breathe out oxygen. So why breathing? Wait, so... <laughs> I don't know, what's the, what's the need of breathing? Wait, so the, so what happens to the food that they're eating? How is it, get, how is it getting oxidized? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, where do they find these people? Like, how, do, oh. how, 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 are they, how are they even alive if they're, I mean, how are they even, fun, how do they even open the door? How do they even manage to, like, I don't understand how could you be, I mean, I'm not trying to insult them. I know it's coming across like that. But how do you go through your life and actually get a, even a job and be able to become this successful to be a minister and be able, and at the same time believe such stupid shit? Like, I don't understand how this works. Like, I don't understand. Uh, uh, they're how come they're I... becoming the minister because more and more people are voting for them. Oh, oh for this. Oh, okay. So you're saying they're, they're ministers specifically because they're this stupid and they say this stupid. Yeah. Stuff. Because people like it. <laughs> the, the, uh, it's like they believe this stuff and then they talk like, uh, they talk about nationalism and stuff and people vote for them for the nationalist beliefs. And those are the same ministers who believe this stuff. <laughs> It's very, it's so ironic because actually cows are the, one, the worst thing for the environment, right? So it's actually the, the exact opposite of what this guy is saying, right? Cows like, don't they, you know, the cart, uh, the, the, the cows that fart, um, what do they fart? Me me methane? But gas, right? But it's really methane, bad for, methane, yeah. methane, it's really bad for global warming. And this guy making it seem like they're actually very environmentally f friendly. It's actually the exact opposite, right? Not only they do not produce oxygen, they're actually one of the leading, are they one of the leading reason behind global warming, the cows, cow farts, right? It is. Somebody tell me if that's true. I think that's true. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I, so, so wait, how many people in this, is this, is this a common belief in just this specific state or is it a more common belief in India? The cows breathe It's the common belief among many, like, absolutely orthodox hindus which is becoming a majority nowadays but why where does that come from like why did they even i mean it, it can be an ancient myth because ancients didn't believe didn't know what oh oxygen, absolutely not. oxygen it doesn't, it doesn't is. say anything about science and cows yeah i mean either. oxygen is a, is a recent discovery relative to how old hinduism is so where did it like why did they just did somebody just wake up and decided to say like i'm just gonna say this and say if it flies like how does this how does how does an idea like this is how is it born they, uh, they, uh, they believe that cow is like some an animal to be worshipped and like deification of the cow like they believe everything like they even say that cow urine uh, treats cancer so 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 this is not they're not doing good they should say they breathe in di carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen that would be impressive if you breathe in oxygen and breathe out oxygen like well you're not doing you're not doing anything they're like trees Wait, so doesn't that make them, so they're, they, oh wait, I found a way to, to make cow meat uh, legal, allowed in India by saying that if cows produce oxygen, oxygen, then they're technically plants, right? So it's vegetarian to eat cows. There you go. Brilliant. I just, I just fixed uh, India's cow vigilante justice. So like, hey, everything, okay, good. <laughs> uh, they don't, like, uh, they're not vigilantes because cow is just big. They just don't kill cows. 
don't kill cows no cows should not be killed like if cow is a plant they will say don't pluck cows yeah um got, uh, the top comment saying i had a delicious uh, ribeye steak for dinner yesterday it was breathtaking coincidence oh my god uh pun okay carl is saying we breathe in oxygen and we also breathe out a certain amount of oxygen air yeah because it, because the burning the oxidization is not complete obviously all, not all of it uh is going to be not all of the oxygen that you breathe in is going to be used i'm sure i read that somewhere but it had but it was a very long time ago makes sense we use mouth to mouth to receive to revive people yeah but carl you don't understand what this guy says this guy is saying cows are the only animals that do that, right? And his understanding is that you don't, I think, correct me sure if I'm wrong, but his understanding is like, unlike other animals that breathe in oxygen and breathe in carbon dioxide, cows breathe in oxygen and they breathe out oxygen. So it's not talking about that residual oxygen that doesn't get oxidized. It's talking about just generally they just don't, they just, they're different, right? That's what the point is, right? That's what they, I mean. they didn't specifically say anything about breathing in carbon dioxide or oxygen because no. they didn't even mention it they're just like okay whatever science believes or everyone else believes they say like cow breathes out oxygen and oxygen is important so we should not kill cows or something right this was there so and oxygen is important so see that they, they think cows are a source of oxygen but what 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 carl what you're saying is not that we're breathing in and we're a source of oxygen we're just not consuming oxygen 100% in every breath. This guy thinks that cows are sacred because they're giving out oxygen. So that's a different thing that this guy is saying, okay? Don't try to come up with excuses for this, for his bullshit, Carl. God damn it, Carl. Adam is saying, I am Indian and this guy know very well that he is making a false, cl a false claim. It is political. How do you know, Adam? Uh, I know that you... Okay, uh, this is... No way! Entirely impossible because there are some people who like no. I'm I'm just using Hinduism because I want to get more into words. There are people like that. Right. But I am. You cannot be sure about him. I know, but this Adam is acting like he can read people's mind. Obviously, this guy could either believe Absolutely. in this, or maybe he's just saying like, "I'm pretty sure I get more fans if I say something like this." But Adam is—I hate it when people start a sentence and say like, "I am Indian," so and and then they started something, or "I'm ex-Muslim." I, I even within my own community, I'm ex-Muslim, and then they say something, or "I'm Iranian," like within you know, and then they say something as if as if that gives you more credibility, okay? So Adam saying I'm Indian and this guy knows very well that he's making a false claim. Really, Adam? So being an Indian make gives you the ability to read people's minds. Does that is that come is that something that comes with being an Indian? Just because you're in uh, India, I don't. I can't. Yeah. So no, I, I agree with Adam that this guy might be might be bullshitting people and knowing it. We don't know, but don't say something without without the claim as uh, unless you actually can read people's minds. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.